Let's talk about the RTX 4080 and 4070. They have expected 3D Mark for Time Spy performance levels. The expected performance figures of the RTX 4080 and 4070 graphics cards have now been revealed by Copite 7 Kimmy. The leaker claims that the performance numbers within 3D Mark Time Spy are based on the expected specifications of the cards. The leaker doesn't go into much detail, but says that he isn't too sure about these performance numbers. Despite that, he shared them, and we might be getting our first taste of where the 4080 and 4070 might end up compared to their predecessors. The same leaker had posted performance benchmarks on the 4090 a few weeks ago, which we covered on this channel as well, and they can use that for comparison. So, they say he says that the 4080 is at 15,000. And the 4070 is at 10,000. They're based on specifications, as he mentioned before, so it's not necessarily fully accurate because obviously in the real world, things are going to change as well as factors, possibly new CPUs as well, which will unlock those scores even more. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 is going to be a cut down AD103 300 GPU configuration with 10,240 cores or 80 SMs enabled of the total 84 units. The GPU will come packed with 64 megabytes of L2 cache and up to 224 ROPs. As for memory specs, the RTX 4080 is expected to rock 16 gigabytes of GDDR6X capacities that are said to be adjusted at 21 gigabit per second speeds across a 256 bus interface. This will provide 672 gigabytes per second of bandwidth. And for power, the total board power is said to be rated at around 420 watts, which is close to the 4090. And since the memory clocks aren't that aggressive, it is likely that the core clocks could be turned down for maximum graphics performance or maximum uh, mining performance, right? So depending on the algorithm you're mining, if it's memory intensive, your memory is always going to be running at that. You could probably get it pretty close to... Uh, at least on the 4090 close to essentially exactly what the 3090 Ti is running at. And then depending on how well the cores behave, you may be able to lock those cores down even further than the 3000 series, which would be the ben the which would make the cards beneficial for mining. At this point though, as we look at these, there doesn't seem to be a huge performance gain in mining memory intensive algorithms quite yet. There is going to be dual mining advantages on these GPUs because the core clock will be higher as well as specific algorithms such as but not limited to something like Ravencoin or Flux and then of course the dual mining with like Casper or Alephium or something along those lines. Last we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 which is expected to be a cut down configuration of the 8104 275 GPU with slightly higher core count than the RTX 3070 Ti of 7168 cores or 56 SMs. The GPU will come packed with 48 megabytes of L2 cache and up to 160 ROPs. As for the memory specifications, the 4070 is expected to rock 10 gigabytes of GDDR6 capacities. They are said to be clocked at 18 gigabits per second speed across a 160-bit bus interface. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is not going to be uh, that great. The 70 series is definitely on the 4000 series is not looking as good. The card may rock a total board power of 300 watts and the leaker also mentions that the pricing of this card would not be lower than the RTX 3070 or 3070 Ti cards. Simply put, we can expect a price bump in the 70 class graphics card segment. So more expensive, worse memory performance pretty much is what we're looking at with the 4070, unfortunately. Now coming to the performance benchmarks, the leaker states that the NVIDIA RTX 4080 should score f over 15,000 points in Time Spy Extreme, which should put it at 68% ahead of the 3080 and around 33% faster than the 3090 Ti, the current gen flagship. But there would be a huge gap between the 4090 and the 4080 with the flagship offering an uplift of 27%, which is a ma which is massive compared to the last gen uh, where the RTX 3090 and 3080 only had a difference of 13%. The GeForce RTX 4070 is said to score around 10,000 points in Time Spy Extreme GPU benchmark test. And that will be a 50% increase in the performance over the 3070 and matches the 3090 Ti, non-TI. This would be some insane <laughs> in performance. It's the insane guy, which is simply insane.
for gamers if the card ends up with a 499 US price tag. But once again, we see a massive performance difference between the RTX 4080 and 4070 of 50%. Even if Nvidia launches an RTX 4070 Ti, which let's add a 10 to 15% uplift, there would be a 35% gap in performance in between the two segments. The previous gen had a gap of 36% between the 3080 and 3070, which got even lower to 23% with the 3070 Ti. And as you can see here, they kind of have them all listed up. Interestingly enough, they have the 6950 XT below the 60, uh, the 3090 Ti. Um, yeah, I, yeah, and Time Spy Extreme, that's true. Oh, I had to think about that for a second. Also, it looks like only the flagship 8102 parts with their insane power figures will be able to hit the two times performance target, while the rest of the lineup sits at 50 to 70% increases. Once again, the leaker mentioned in his previous tweet that there, these are conservative estimates, so the final GPU performance may end up looking much better. The RTX 40 series graphics cards are expected to bring a huge uplift in overall GPU performance and the Ada Lovelace architecture will bring with it a slew of new features that we cannot wait to talk about when we have them in our own hands for testing. Now, obviously the biggest problem that we have here is the cut down uh, memory bus on the 4070. I'm just going to go pull this up here real quick just to make sure I have the right numbers. But I believe on the previous generation, yeah, on the previous generation 3070, you're going to have a much better memory performance because you have a 256-bit bus. And that is pretty significant uh, cut down to 160-bit on the GDDR6. And so we're getting very slow GDDR6 memory replaced with, of course, that L2 cache, which seems to be the trend in the gaming GPUs right now, as far as where they're moving towards. For mining, what does this mean? It means that the RTX 4070 will more than likely perform much worse at mining Ethereum and other memory intensive type algorithms than the RTX 3070. That could spell out good news for miners, or it could have, if there were more gamers that had purchased the RTX 3070, but as we know, most of the 3070s were purchased by GPU miners and they seem to be some of the best around. So picking up, you know, a 3070 off the used market is going to be a lot less likely than if we were in a different situation on the release of the 30 series. But like I said, unfortunately, it's just not looking that good for the 4070. Now you do get a little light at the end of the tunnel with the 3080 having a 256 bit bus with the, uh, with the GDDR6 X at the new speeds of 21 gigabits per second. However, that's still a cut down too. Because if we look at the RTX 3080 specs, for example, let me get those pulled up here. Uh, what we had was GDDR6X at a 320-bit bus. Now, the memory is faster on the, 30, on the 4080 than the 3080. But you can see here that the total bandwidth on the 3080 was 760 gigabytes per second and if we look at of course the total memory bandwidth on the 4080 it was only going to be 672 gigabytes a second per bandwidth once again kind of shifting things over from an architectural standpoint to that l2 cache and that's not going to perform well once again in memory intensive algorithms like et hash ergo auto Lycos, that sort of thing so we're getting cut down memory performance. That doesn't mean that there won't be new coins or new algorithms or new miners that take advantage of the L2 cache bump, which is a possibility because if you guys are not familiar, there are some coins already that are pretty cache intensive, not exactly similar, but on the CPU side, where you see lots of L2 layer two cache on like a Ryzen CPU get huge advantages in things like Raptorium. 
And I don't know if there will be some sort of algorithm that takes advantage of it on the GPU side, but that's kind of what you would need for these particular GPUs to see a performance bump there outside of the core performance, which like we've already talked about, could see, of course, improvements in algorithms uh, such as anything you dual mine like Caspa and so on, or things like Flux. It's really going to be kind of up in the air as far as what these cards are good for, but as far as taking an RTX 4080 and selling off your 3080 and plopping in a 4080 instead, I think you would be making a terrible decision. Now, not financial advice, of course, but I just think that you would make a terrible decision swapping out a 3080 for a 4080 at this point, looking at the specifications purely. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.